It is not a Dusa. It is the other one. Oh, oh they got me bowed. Been me bowed. Looks like the roll in happened. MSS is going to be chased down. That will be our first blood. The two supports TP, oh, but they're a bit great. too late. AY, what's going on here? Steals that one creep. The roll in is going to miss from Dubu. He's going to be underneath the tower here. Fortunately, Magic Missile was already used. He tries to get the right clicks off to finish off Dubu, but on a Phonic Shield will save him. AUI knew he was dead. He was just hoping to be able to get a turn around. Nice rotation from Abed and that early smoke Bionic. And they're slowing him down. This is the entire point is to try to slow down this uh, Ventral Spirit because you know this hero can't really recover. But the good news for NP is that this hero is not the focal point of the strategy whatsoever. Oh, nice ultimate here. That's oh. gonna catch uh, a bad end as well. Oh man, he's just crushing him. He's actually gonna man up against uh, Abed as well. He takes a lot of damage, but the magic damage is gonna be enough to build burst him down. Rose could not save his ally, nor could he actually get revenge Harry Potter on dude. Abed. Way more than enough damage. That's true. All the way in mid. MSS. They're going to drop the healing ward for they this. They are going to be able to catch both. What a great kick from Dubu. They're going to go for more here. Silence onto the two, but I don't think Onyx feel comfortable diving this right now. That is also only a level four Winter Wyvern. I mean, both these supports have just been run ragged, whereas Abed, or I mean, where Dubu has just been able to set the pace around the map. This Coddle has got quite a bit of farm. He's even going to pick up uh, almost as level six. They're going to take this bottom tower on top of that. This game has been very good for this They're going to catch AUI here. Uh, Mason does have a mango, like so he can again. pop it and spin if he wants to. Nice swamp back there. AUI is just trying to disjoint some of this. Gets the stun onto Dubu, what tries to outrun this spin. They do have MSS oh, with a nice very well stomp. done by AUI. Up, dude? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I'll give you commentator tip 101. Don't cover your mouth while you're talking. <laughs> I was like, why is Blitz so quiet? Oh, kick. They're going to try and burst out Rose, but they didn't actually get the silence, so he managed to get off the cold embrace, dodging all that Omni Slash damage, oh, and Dubu in some serious trouble with all that minus armor. Envy will swipe him down. Demon's going to be up next, too. Demon tries to juke his way through the trees to go for a TP out, but there is a stomp to stop that him. A team like Envy, they don't like defending these areas. They want to be able to split up and farm. If there's five heroes down like this, and you're going to lose your tower anyways. Oh, oh, he's found it. He's got the angle. He wants to go for this. He's he knows that Winter's Curse is down. Oh, the poof's coming a little bit late. They are going to be able to get the kick, though, to stop Envy. Envy. They could I'm, even force high ground off of this. Yeah, I'm not sure why why he was in that position if the rest of his team was not. Yeah, I would like to see Onyx go for the high ground here. Absolutely. There's no Winter's Curse. This is going to be one of your better opportunities to just go for it. Oh, this is not the position that NP wants to be in. Move oh, forward, they're going to try and burst down AUI with a kick in. They've got enough damage. They take him down. Bimax already being forced. Now Onyx need to start the retreat. Still, that is a huge buyback that you forced. You managed to kill another core out of position. People lineups are always going to be having yeah. experience, right? But, but the fact that gold-wise you're... Yeah, against an ALK lineup as in mid. All right, they got a really good stomp. Follow-up stun. They this could be Onyx's here. life. Life number one, but Voodoo actually gets a really good initiation. Will get a lot of chaos out there. They're going to try and stomp, but that's not where the real Meepo is. Oh, he gets He's going to be put forward and manage to finish off the Winter Wipe and catches AUI as well. Oh, and now goes out for of MSS. Here. He managed to get up a really good at table concoction. And he commits for this fight. They'll die in this fight, too. That is going to be a rampage. going to be cleaned up as well. Rampage for Abed Meepo. Onyx have taken full control of this They're game and are going to look bottom. to close it out right here, right now. They're oh going to push it bottom. This is not how NP wanted to set up that fight. This last pick, me I mean, you did have the Wyvern, but it messed with so much of what you wanted to do in the first place. Abed, as soon as he comes back, immediately gets offensive. Jumps forward, makes sure that Winter's Wyvern can't do anything in that engagement. He still has that Winter's Curse, so they have to have a little bit of trepidation here. They're just going to send in this Juggernaut. Mind you, he still has that Hex available. He does not fear jumping in whatsoever. Mason gets swapped back there. Already had the spin out from the stomp. And that is definitely what they're waiting for right now. Again, going to be swapped back into the stomp. They are going to try and get a little bit of damage here. The Unstable Concoction hit after the un Unstable... Oh, AUI is actually going to be safe there. Cold Embrace goes out over the Omni Slash, but it looks like the spin is enough magic damage to bring it down anyway. They will take this tier oh, Dubu two. Is Dubu deep goes in deep to try and stop some of the MP members from being up to retreat, but ends up just throwing his, way, his life away in the process. Yeah. And he does commit to an early BKB, but it may not matter if he gets jumped on oh, here by Abed here. with a Scythe of Ice. He's going to be able to jump in. Scythe of Ice, blow him up with all this magic damage very easily. He's down for 50 seconds.
You might have to use this Winner's Curse on maybe even Jug at this point, but they're just going to march up here with their Tricor, start hitting these buildings as Meeple does not care if he gets Winner's Curse anymore. Yep. Rose is invis. He's got his main Meeple sitting in the back line. They do throw out the Winter's Curse on the Juggernaut, as you said, but there goes that Ethereal Blade, so... That's your Mason major ability. easily survives through that one. That was he your still has the healing ward. He is full HP. Yep. They are going to get... They're going to take everything right now. NP, once again, in a position where... Without Envy, gonna have to try to defend 4v5, not gonna risk it, gonna wait for him to come back. Eight more seconds. They need some amazing combination of abilities. AY pokes at one of the Meepos, which is instantly full healed by the Illuminate Blast out from Demon. They start coming forward with the Alchemist. Go right in the middle of things. They managed to get the swap back with the Cold Embrace, but still, the Unstable Concoction is going to stun him off. He got off the BKB. He could turn and fight. He actually rips through Mason pretty quickly. What about Abed, though? Abed, he just takes out MSS in one fell swoop. He brings down two oh, and is about to take out a Aegis. third as Envy. He's going to die as well. There goes that Aegis. Envy, he has to get out of here, though. He pops another shrine. He does not have a Chemical Rage. Good stomp out there from MSS. The Acid Spray will wake him up. Envy tries to get some damage onto him, but he's so damn low, he can't afford to have a new come out from Onyx. Abed, he takes down Envy once again and still has the HP on the meat post if he wants to continue to go for There's this no top lane of on this Alchemist, on this Al, their key hero. Anyway, really. I'm not sure what kind of trap this is going to set up. He's sitting in biz. Right on top of the tier 3 tower, he's going to swap back one of the Meepos to get the Winter's Curse. That was the play! They managed to get the main Meepo into the Winter's Curse, they get the stun off of oh, one of those Meepos, to but kill there him. goes that Ethereal Blade, and the heal! It comes down a bash on Eternal Levy, he gets Cold the Braised up, he's going to be able to survive for a little longer, but that's it, he's down for another minute. Megas are going to be coming in soon, NP, they seem to be running out of steam as all of Onyx looks so damn healthy around that healing ward. They turn and finish off AY, they'll get MSS as well, leaving SVG for last, and that is it. Eternal Envy will call it for wow. Team NP. This is the end of their run through the Kiev Major Qualifiers for the North American region. Onyx are going to the Grand Finals. That is quite a big upset, considering NP's history. Ember Spirit. And it makes the enemies carry CS yeah. a little bit worse too, right? Oh, at top. That's even my tower. With all these boars, they dead. are going to be able to finish them off. Or why they're not really pushing this target is because they feel pretty comfortable with this magnet. I mean, they're getting so many kills. The rock actually jumps. Ooh. It's going to be a little bit late, but they still catch him with a double remnant. That is the tier 2 tower down. They're claiming so many kills and so many towers. You think in oh, some way... Oh, he just leaped in mid. Yeah. They might not know about that this. escape mechanism. It's gonna be got the rough. They're going to get the RP on him, pop out, easily bring down MV, and they can pressure that he mid lane if they want no to. getting no gold at all. Yeah, this is this is pretty rough. Do you think part of it is that the Aghanim Scepter requires so much space yes. for you to be able to utilize? You, just, you eat so much of the map right now. And up atop as well, MSS gonna get gone on. He does have a TP. Flame Guard is still up. MSS just couldn't burn through that one, and that actually makes the difference. The extra burn damage is kill, gonna allow him to be able to get that one kill. This is a very good kill for AUI if he can get it. Yeah, he's definitely got it. That is 767 a gold. We're gonna put some hits on it. It's already taken some damage from the Warlock Golem early. And my Stealer chunks it down pretty quickly between Bloodlust and Empower. It's already down to half HP. This is not a tower. You want to glyph for this. Oh, Slight of Fist is not enough to be able to dodge that arrow. Abed tried, but it didn't last well. long enough. Now he's going to be tanking the roar as well as the split, trying to jump out. They do have the Warlock Golem buying him a moment of time, and he does manage to jump away just before Ooh. the sleep goes down. He's going to take this moment to heal himself up, and he'll be back in the fight. Meanwhile, MP are going to try and set up the stomp. They're going to blow up Dubu, it looks like, but Abed has come back. Big Abed blast comes so in, and Abed still. already has to jump back out. He is mana leaked up as well. They've got issues for uh, poor Bulba. Another stomp, well placed. Managed to infest, though, inside Demon. Managed to get out of that one, and Mason says, Thank you, Demon. I'm out of here. A little bit of a disjoint, and I'll rage TP out. They're going to leave their two supports behind as long as Abed gets away. And they'll have the split pushing advantage as well. They just need to make sure that they don't get caught out by rotations like this. The invis rotation of Bulba holding the life stealer inside of him. Looks like they are just might be able to get multiple here. Oh, they're going to skew him back though. Oh, if Bulba just waited around, he might have been gifted with a twofer. As Envy was not so far away. They're actually going to go a little bit more trying to catch Rose. Uba doesn't even die, dude. Look at him. He's just running in. He's got a hood. Yeah. He just straight up. 
Oh, oh the there's the, the RP in the background. The song, it doesn't go out fast enough. They do manage and to get the rage out. Too. He you gotta get out to get of the gem. AY is gonna TP himself out. Take it, go. it gets it. Bulba stops the TP out. That's gonna be AY down unless this stomp. No, Abed's got it. Abed's gonna run him down pretty easily. They won't take that too. kill. He's got Remnant in one second, but ET's just a little bit too fast. Not a Roshan that you want to give up for free. It's about half HP right now. They're All gonna right. walk Vince in. is just gonna charge in. He says, damn it, I'm going in, boys. He already gets Primal Roared up during the rage status. He is gonna be able to oh, take through a lot damage. of this one. He actually invests inside one of the creeps. Nice RP oh, on the left hand side with the golem being dropped. But there's the song of Siren. AY. FP, they've got to reset. They gotta get out of here. Yeah, they're gonna back out, trying to get to the high ground, but they just can't get out fast enough. AY is gonna be caught as well as Envy. The Moonlight Shadow will not allow him to be able to escape, or maybe it will. They managed to get the dust out. AY hides behind the trees, tries to go for the TP out. But the boar actually kids. Just okay, the they, okay. Need to, they need to they need to catch somebody. All right, it looks like right they now. are gonna go for Abed. Take it off. Abed gets hit by the arrow. Followed up. Echo stop. They're gonna try and burst him down. It's gonna be close. The blast comes in and they taking out Abed. But can they actually do this anyway? Mason's already taken down MP. He's gonna be able to get MSS as well. A one for two exchange. And MP are running out of firepower now as Mason approaches the lane of Rax. They are about to get Megas by 30 minutes here, and the age is still up for another right minute. Now. Range tracks is going to fall. Mason can just finish it up, and that'll be Megas right here. Dubu will take the last hit. They do manage to get an arrow onto the life stealer. They're going to try and burst him down here, but they can't focus too much as he does still have that Aegis RP laid out just for MB, who would have died anyway. AY just trying to do what little he can, but finally it is called by the captain, Eternal MB. It's game one in a best of three.